Okay, good morning everybody. Down here at Salt Creek on a fairly fun looking morning of waves. It's like two to three feet, little west-northwest swell, south combo. Super high tide, so today I've got an S-Boss and a Great White Twin. These are the two newest boards that Slater Designs has put out, so I just wanted to bring them down and ride them both and kind of show you guys a comparison. Um, I know you can see that I'm running a way different fin setup than I normally would in the S-Boss, so it's just something I've been playing around with. And then this is just the regular KS Twin uh, 2 plus 1 setup. So really I just want to bring these boards down and show the discrepancies of how they surf in the same conditions and ultimately be able to show what they look like underfoot on a very average day of surfing. It's not that good, it's not that bad, it's just your everyday Southern California surf day. So go out, I'm going to take the S-Boss out first and then we're going to go to the Great White Twin and see how they go.
three for the win. It was really fun, a lot better than I expected, but those are like the best days. First board I rode was that S-Boss, and it felt really lively and very responsive underfoot, and it was kind of cool. I feel like that board, for how short it is, it actually behaves more like a traditional short board, so it's got quite a bit of hold in it. Um, I got some good waves on that board. I got one one right that just felt like I really connected on my backhand and like the fins would allow a pretty good amount of drift, but then re-engage. Got a few good waves on that, and then I took the uh, Great White Twin out, and the difference just being the construction, so that's just a regular uh, EPS board. This is the volcanic construction, so these ones, the volcanic feels a lot more rigid under my feet, which actually I love. Um, and I think the design of the Great White Twin is more catered towards like a good wave. On some of the bigger sets that I went on, this board felt way more, it felt like it had a lot more hold. Whereas in a smaller wave, I felt like I couldn't get the Great White Twin going as fast as I could get the S-Boss going. However, when I did get this board on like a bigger, more punchy wave, um, this thing just has a lot of control and speed through bigger turns and bigger waves. So it it's almost two boards that are hard to compare because they're you can really ride them in quite a variety of conditions so two to three foot creek on a day like this i would usually gravitate more towards the s boss and then as soon as it gets more punchy and tubing i might grab this great white twin or something that has like a little more of a defined line dimensions on the great white twin this one is five seven nineteen and 1 16th and 2 and 7 16 at 27 and a half liters. That S Boss is stock dimensions of a 5 6. It's a custom board, but it has the stock dimensions. So, pretty, pretty similar volume what I was riding out there. It's funny though, because this board on the Great White Twin, the rail's way more pinched down, whereas on the S Boss, it's a little more of a rounded rail. And then the concaves are way different too. So, you have a lot more of a single through this board, where you have a huge double through that one. So they're just different boards, different rail lines, and I think it's to each his own. Like, whatever you feel is better for you in conditions like this, it, it's that's what you're gonna gravitate towards. So for me, it's usually the S-Boss, but on the Great White Twin, it's like I can go out on a day like this and have an absolute blast.